Hello, everybody, and let's go ahead and get started with your reading. I went already went ahead and pulled a spread, so let's just see what comes out and see how it uh, reflects your day. <clears throat> First card out is the overall energy. We got show the world the real you, okay? This is about showing what you're capable of, showing everything about you, allowing yourself to be vulnerable. You know, uh, if you have something that you are wise at, and it's like your expertise, it's like sharing your wisdom. If that's on a YouTube channel or however that may be, because with that, when you are being open and you are being authentic, that is what brings in your prosperity. So there is prosperity that lies ahead. I feel like for some of you, this could be some type of a court um, it could be some type of a court proceeding. You could be hearing something about that. And the reason why I say that is because we do have justice right underneath that. So this is karmic justice. So this could be something to do with court. It has something to do with your finances. Um, if you're in something legal or law for others of you, it could also be something that you are waiting on, uh, to help you get your business started. And it does say to have faith in your dreams. Everything is working out for you. And the next card out, get this, you don't need to, uh, psychic or a rocket scientist to figure this one out. It says, show the world the real you. Prosperity lies ahead. Have faith in your dreams. And look at this. Conclusions are within reach. For some of you, you feel like it's so close yet so far away. It's really hard for you to like hone in on it. But I feel like you need to recognize all the hard work and dedication that you have been putting in and continue to have that faith. For some of you, sometimes you feel like you're in some type of a prison, like a mental prison. And I, it's almost like you kind of need to get out. I feel like, um, there is powerful, powerful changes that are happening here. And you want to know something really funny? We've had the North Node in Taurus and the South Node in Scorpio. And what do we got here? Uh, the North, or we have the, uh, excuse me, New Moon in Taurus. Eclipse points are the nodal points, right? What do we have? Full Moon Eclipse. June, or sorry, July 11th is when those nodes go into Aries and Libra for the next 18 months. So this is no small, uh, you know, situation that you're in when it comes to your finances, when it comes to, you know, building something, something practical, something tangible, you know, and also for a lot of you, your finances, but it's like, okay, what are you going to invest it in? Are you going to invest it into your health? You need something practical, something tangible. So the justice card comes in with the, what is this one? Six of cups. This money is coming from someone from the past. Okay. There's something here about money needing to come in from the past. And I feel like Depending on how this goes through, how it's almost like someone here is juggling, well, what should I do with this? You know, or somebody's juggling on whether or not they should pay you is what I'm seeing here. They're like, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? At the end of the day, everything ends up working out, but there may be some type of conflict here that could be have ensued because of this. Another thing too is I feel like for some of you, you're going to have a lot of balls in the air right now. You're going to be, feel like you're juggling. You're going to feel like you're zoom, zoom, zooming. Okay. There's like things you got to get done. It's going to feel like maybe a little reckless, but it's like slow and steady wins the race. Another thing that I just got, and it was kind of cute. I see this bull looking like he's going to charge her. So <laughs> I, I just got a very sensual and sexual vibe, if you know what I mean. And I'm not going to go any further into that subject, but that was just a side note. So, um, have fun. <laughs> okay. Um, with that said, be careful if you don't want to end up pregnant. Also, I just heard that someone here is having a baby. Congratulations, because I am getting that with the six of cups. Um, for some of you, it very well, you're I'm thinking twins, you're going to find out what gender, maybe you're going to find out the gender or if you're having twins today. So hope if you wanted twins, have faith in your dreams. Everything's going to work out. You're just probably juggling a lot right now. Okay. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're trying to stay balanced with the juggling. There's, you know, maybe for a lot of you, you're juggling your kids because it is summertime and so they're not in school. For some of you, I feel like you're going to get some type of a phone call. Somebody, somebody's going to come rushing in. It's like they want to work with you. They have faith in your dreams. Um, so they could be wanting to invest. Okay. You could be getting some type of an investment here today.
I'm not going to lie, we do end up in the reading with a Page of Cups and a Three of Swords. I feel like somewhere here, and it's underneath the uh, conclusions are within reach. It's like, I almost see that as fiery Mars. So if there has been, you know, um, some type of fight or some type of like upheaval in your life, I feel like, yes, there is a lot of pain. Okay. There's a lot of pain. We've got the Three of Swords here. Okay. With the Three of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Empress. So it, there's been some type of a battle with this Empress, and it could have been with three other people, okay? This this Empress against them, you know? And I feel like the Empress has had to walk away. So this is a side note. The Empress is walking away. This is the mother walking away. You know, somebody who knows their value, knows their worth. They've learned their lessons and they're not into petty fights and petty arguments because at the end of the day with the five of swords, nobody wins. It's over petty gossip and victimization mentality. So keep that in mind. You know, conclusions are within reach. I feel like this, this individual is, there's a lot of pain here associated with this. But I think with the, the, the Knight of Wands, maybe the Knight of Wands is going back to the Six of Cups and being like, oh, shoot, maybe we took a little took it a little bit too far. So um, I feel like this is a conversation that's going on behind the scenes that maybe for some of you that they're, they're, you're not aware of, especially with the Justice card and the upright under the prosperity lies ahead. I do feel like there's a conclusion within reach when it comes to the situation, but I feel like someone here needs to apologize. So I do feel like that's a side note. Yeah, this bird looks, is this a bird? What is this? Yeah, this bird is dead. Like, just look at it, stabbed in its eyes, can't even see. Like, ugh, that's, that's a painful, painful. Damn. Yeah, you know, words, words hurt. You know, three of swords, five of swords, words hurt. So be careful, you know. Uh some people, when that happens, they put themselves in their own, they lock themselves away in their own prison and they're like, I'll just, you know, be an, a, 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 it's like a bird's eye perspective. I'll just be an outsider looking in, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'll stay behind these bars. So try not to let this energy, it's almost like, it, it almost kind of feels heavier in the evening time. So don't let that get to you. It could just be memories, you know, memories of something that was said or done. Okay. Because of some sort of battle. Because the Knight of Wands to the Six of Cups is like a battle. You know, it's out to something soft. Like it's coming in, you know, bow and arrow. And um, that's a very fiery energy towards something that should have been so sweet and so uh, kind. But again, from whatever this is, it brings balance back into the situation. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. Hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. And don't forget to check me out on Facebook and Instagram. I love you guys all so much, and I will chat with you again soon. Take care.